Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how you doing? Ready for the episode of The Last Science Show? I sure hope you are. You look like you are, so let's dig right in. We are honoring Harold Amos today. Amos was an African-American microbiologist and professor. He taught at Harvard Medical School for nearly 50 years and was the first African-American department chair of the school. Let's talk about Harold Amos. The first African-American to chair a department of the Harvard Medical School, Dr. Harold Amos was an esteemed teacher, researcher, and mentor at the institution for more than four decades. Amos dedicated much of his career to supporting the advancement of historically underrepresented individuals and communities within the fields of medicine and science. He also pursued an impressive research agenda, gaining international recognition for his work on bacterial metabolism, nutrition, animal cell culture, and the effects of hormones. One of nine children, Amos was born on September 7, 1918 in Penasuka, New Jersey. His parents, Howard R. Amos Sr. and Iola Johnson, raised the family on Howard's wages as a letter carrier for the U.S. Postal Service. Amos attended a segregated elementary school in Penasuken before eventually finishing first in his class at Camden High School. He received an academic scholarship to attend Springfield College in Massachusetts, graduating summa cum laude in 1941 with a major in biology and a minor in chemistry. During World War II, Amos served in the U.S. Army Quartermaster Corps, an experience that would eventually bring him to France. Amos came to love the country, becoming fluent in the language and knowledgeable on French food and wine. Following his discharge from the military in 1946, Amos enrolled in the Biological Sciences program at Harvard Medical School. He progressed quickly through the program, receiving his MA in 1947 and his PhD in 1952, and was the first African American to earn a doctoral degree from Harvard's Division of Medical Sciences. Following graduation, he received a Fulbright Fellowship to spend two years in France at the Pasteur Institute. In 1954, Amos began a long teaching career in the Department of Bacteriology and Immunology, later renamed Microbiology and Molecular Genetics, at Harvard. He started as a lecturer and moved through the ranks, reaching full professor in 1969. During these years, his research focused primarily on animal cells, including studies on RNA metabolism, enzyme inductions, and, according to a memorial piece published in the Harvard Gazette, a thread on glucose starvation, hexose metabolism, and transport that was particularly influential in his field. Amos twice served as chair of the Department of Microbiology and Molecular Genetics, the first African American to head a medical school department at the university. He also served as chair of the Division of Medical Sciences for two separate terms. In 1975, he was awarded a prestigious endowed position, the Maud and Lillian Presley Professor of Microbiology and Molecular Genetics. Other awards received in recognition of this scholarship and professional service included honorary doctoral degrees from Harvard University and Springfield College, the first $50,000 Dr. Charles Drew World Medical Prize from Howard University, and the Public Welfare Medal of the National Academy of Sciences. Amos was also a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences and a presidential appointee to the National Cancer Advisory Board. Throughout his career, Amos remained a conscientious mentor, providing generous support to students and younger professors. He worked with several organizations dedicated to diversifying medical school faculty, including the Josiah Marcy Jr. Foundation and Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, which renamed its Minority Medical Faculty Development Program in his honor. Amos retired in 1989. He passed away on February 26, 2003 in Boston, Massachusetts at age 84. Thank you, Harold. We honor you for your achievements into the field of medicine and science in general. This was yet another exciting episode of The Last Science Show. Continue to like, subscribe, comment, and share for more great content featuring these great black scientists. 
Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good science. The first black scientist we are going to honor is George Washington Carver. George Washington Carver was an African-American scientist and educator. Carver is famous for many inventions, including a number of uses for the peanut. George Washington Carver was born enslaved and went on to become one of the most prominent scientists and inventors of his time, as well as a teacher of the Tuskegee Institute. Carver devised over 100 products using one major crop, the peanut, including dyes, plastics, and gasoline. Carver was most likely born in 1864, enslaved in Diamond, Missouri, during the Civil War years. Like many children of the enslaved, uh, the exact year and date of his birth are unknown. Carver was one of many children born to Mary and Giles, an enslaved couple owned by Moses Carver. A week after his birth, Carver was kidnapped along with his sister and mother from the Carver farm by raiders from the neighboring state of Arkansas. The three were later sold in Kentucky. Among them, only the infant Carver was located by an agent of Moses Carver and returned to Missouri. The conclusion of the Civil War in 1865 brought the end of slavery in Missouri. Moses and his wife Susan decided to keep Carver and his brother James at their house after that time. As she had been in high school, Jemison was very involved in extracurricular activities at Stanford, including dance and theater productions, and served as head of the Black Student Union. She received a Bachelor of Science degree in Chemical Engineering from the university in 1977. Upon graduation, she entered Cornell University Medical College and, during her years there, found time to expand her horizons by studying in Cuba and Kenya and working at a Cambodian refugee camp in Thailand. After Jemison obtained her MD in 1981, she interned at Los Angeles County slash University of Southern California Medical Center and later worked as a general practitioner. For the next two and a half years, she was the Area Peace Corps Medical Officer for Sierra Leone and Liberia, where she also taught and did medical research. Following her return to the United States in 1985, Jemison made a career change and decided to follow a dream she had nurtured for a long time. In October, she applied for admission to NASA's Astronaut Training Program. The Challenger disaster of January 1986 delayed the selection process, but when she reapplied a year later, Jemison was one of the 15 candidates chosen from a field of about 2,000. On June 4th, 1987, Jemison became the first African-American woman to be admitted into the NASA astronaut training program. After more than a year of training, she became the first African-American woman astronaut earning the title of Science Mission Specialist. 